So here we go. Tablet number one, the Emerald Tablets of Toth. I, Toth, the Atlantean master of mysteries, keeper of records, mighty king magician living from a generation to generation, being about to pass into the halls of Amenti, set down for the guidance of those that are to come after these records of the mighty wisdom of the great Atlantis. In the great city of Kior, on the island of Undal, in a time far past, I began this incarnation. Not as the little men of the present age did, the mighty ones of Atlantis live and die, but rather from aeon to aeon did they renew their life in the halls of Amente, where river of life flows eternally onward. A hundred times ten have I descended the dark way that led into light. As many times as I have ascended from the darkness into the light, my strength and power has been renewed. Now for a time I descend, and the men of Kim, Kim is alchemy in ancient, ancient Egypt, and the men of Kim shall now me no more, shall know me no more. But in a time yet unborn, I will rise again, mighty and potent, requiring an accounting of those left behind me. Then beware, O men of alchemy, if ye have falsely betrayed my teaching, for I shall cast ye down into, from your high estate into the darkness of caves from whence ye came. Betray not my secrets to the men of the north or the men of the south lest my curse fall upon you. Remember and heed my words, for surely I will return again and require of thee that which you guard. I, even from beyond time and from beyond death, I will return, rewarding or punishing ye as have you have requited your trust. You sound familiar here? Jesus is coming back. He's going to come back. And if you ain't got your shit together, he's going he's gonna to kill you. Sound familiar? Alien gods going around setting themselves up, telling everybody that they're, you know, the all-powerful, making, getting them to worship them. Great were my people in the ancient days, great beyond the conception of the little people now around me. It means humans, by little people. Knowing the wisdom of old, seeking far within the heart of infinity, knowledge that belonged to Earth's youth. Wise were we with the wisdom of the children of light, who dwelt among us. Strong were we with the power drawn from the eternal fire. In all of these, greatest among the children of men was my father. Thought me, keeper of the great temple, link between the children of light who dwelt within the temple and the races of men who inhabited the ten islands. Mouthpiece, after the three of the dweller of Unal, speaking to the kings with a voice that must be obeyed. Grew I there from childhood into manhood, being taught by my father the elder mysteries, until in time there grew within the fire of wisdom, until it burst into a consuming flame. Not desired I but the attainment of wisdom, until on a great day the command came from the dweller of the temple that I be brought before him. Few there were among the children of men who had looked upon that mighty face and lived. For not as the sons of men are the children of light when they are not incarnate in a physical body. So when they're not in a physical body, they're just, they're just light beings. Sounds like Palladians. By the way, we're referencing that movie Knowing a couple of times in the broadcast. That's, that's what comes down in is taking the kids to see life on another planet, Pleiadians. When they start showing up, it's really not good news for your planet. I've heard people saying they've been seeing Pleiadians, uh, you know, in their dreams of, like, that's not good news. <laughs> These guys only show up when a planet's about to be completely fucking destroyed. <clears throat> Chosen was I from the sons of men, taught by the dwellers so that his purposes might be fulfilled. Purposes yet unborn in the womb of time. Long ages I dwelt in the temple, learning ever and yet ever more wisdom, until I, too, approached the light emitted from the great fire. Taught me, he did, the path to Amente, 
the wor underworld where the great king sits upon his throne of might. Deep I bowed in homage before the lords of life and the lords of death, receiving as my gift the key of life. Free was I from the halls of Amenti, bound not by death to the circle of life. Far to the stars I journeyed until space and time became as not. So this is he's gaining immortality here. Transcending the death of the physical body. That's the real secret of the secret societies, Freemasonry and the rest of it. Is how to uh, gain, uh, uh, gain immortality by uh, being conscious of, your, of, of, of how you uh, reincarnate through the learning of these teachings. That's, what, that, that's really what it's all about. And, uh, you know, the Anunnaki talked about how they had, you know, they did not give man the gift of long life, but they could. And we have that in us today. It's, you know, all you have to do is turn on a chromosome. And boom, you've got immortality. Interesting, there was an article I didn't cover here tonight, synchronistically, yet again. It's just been synchronicity after synchronicity the past couple of weeks with everything. Article from the Daily Mail says, Who wants to live forever? Computer models predict that if humans became immortal, it might actually be bad news. A lot of this has been in the news lately, and it seems that they're, they're starting to figure this out. I think they're starting to figure out this key to immortality thing that the ancients knew. Because again, as I've stated many times, we now have a context for what these, you know, the advanced technologies that these ancient texts were talking about 50 years ago, we didn't, we, you know, 100 years ago, we didn't. Then having drunk deep into the cup of wisdom, I looked into the hearts of men and there I found greater mysteries and was glad. For only in the search for truth could my soul be stilled and the flame within be quenched? I'm going to get a tattoo of that. Yeah, that's pretty much my credo right there. Wow. For only in the search for truth could my soul be stilled and the flame within be quenched. Down through the ages I lived, seeing those around me taste of the cup of death and return again in the light of life. Gradually from the kingdoms of Atlantis passed waves of consciousness that had been with one with me, only to be replaced by a spawn of a lower star. That's heavy. That's heavy. Let me read the... <laughs> Man. Gradually from the kingdom of Atlantis passed waves of consciousness that had, that had been one with me only to be replaced by the spawn of a lower star. That's, that, this is an interesting statement. That's like, you know, one collective consciousness and everyone in a community or, or you know, a, a planet or a world or whatever, having the same consciousness and then that going away and, and then being replaced with something of much lower quality. That's, that's incredible. In obedience to the law, the word of the master grew into flower. Downward into the darkness turned the thoughts of the Atlanteans until at last, in this wrath, arose from his great Agwanti, the dweller. This word has no English equivalent. It means a state of detachment. Speaking the word, calling the power. Deep in the earth's heart, the sons of Amenti heard and are hearing and directing the changing of the flower of fire that burns eternally, changing and shifting, using the logos until that great fire changed its direction. Now, what, what are they talking about here? Are they talking, you know, deep in the, earth, in the heart of the earth? Are they talking about the changing the core, the direction of the core, spin, the way the core of the earth spins? That's interesting. Over the world, then broke the great waters, drowning and sinking, changing Earth's balance until only the Temple of Light was left. Standing on the great mountain of Endal, still rising out of the waters, some there were who were living, saved from the rush of the fountains. Called to me then the master, saying, Gather ye my people, 
Take them by the arch ye have learned of far across the waters until you reach the land of the hairy barbarians dwelling in caves of the desert. Follow there the plan that you know of. I gathered my people and entered the great ship of the master. Upward we rose into the morning. Dark beneath us lay the temple. Suddenly over it rose the waters. Vanished from earth until the time appointed was the great temple. Fast we fled toward the sun of the morning. Until beneath us lay the land of the children of Kem. Raging, they came with cudgels and spears. Lifted in anger, seeking to slay and utterly destroy the sons of Atlantis. Well, you got to watch that movie, uh, 10,000 B.C. If you hadn't seen that, it ties right in with that. Pretty interesting. I don't want to ruin it for you if you haven't seen it. But uh, Then I raised my staff and directed a ray of vibration, striking them in their tracks as fragments of the, of the stone of the mountain. I love this. You know, because, I mean, what, what, do you, what do you clans have to say about this now? You know, here's more translations of ancient texts. These not done by Zachariah Sitchin. Here we have the same stuff that's verbatim that's in the in, uh, Sumerian text. Break free of your religious priest class programming and understand that this stuff is what they don't want you to know about. If you understand this stuff, then religion has no place. So that's why there's so many disinfo clowns and haters and all that stuff out there. I then raised my staff and directed a ray of vibration, striking them still in their tracks as fragments of stone of the mountain. Then I spoke to them in words calm and peaceful, telling them of the might of Atlantis, saying we were children of the sun and its messengers. I cowed them by my display of magic science until at my feet they groveled and I released them. Long dwelt we in the land of Kim, long and yet long again, until obeying the commands of the master, who while sleeping yet lives eternally, I sent from me the sons of Atlantis, sent them in many directions, that from the womb of time wisdom, they might rise again in her children. For a long time I dwelt in the land of Kim, doing great works by the wisdom within me. Upward I grew into the light of knowledge. The children of Kim were watered by the rains of my wisdom. Blasted I then a path to Amente so that I might retain my powers, living from age to age as a son of Atlantis, keeping the wisdom, preserving the records. Great grew the sons of Kim, conquering the people around them, growing slowly upwards in soul force. Growing slowly upwards in soul force. That's interesting. As if their souls and their energy gets higher. You know, the vibration higher is the more that they conquer and it gets higher and higher. Now for a time I go from among them into the dark halls of Amenti, deep into the halls of the earth. Before the lands of the powers, face to face once again with the dweller. That's funny. We have one of the new demigod songs we have is called Earth Dweller. And we always call it The Dweller. For short, and I just have seen that twice here. The dweller raised I high over the entrance, a doorway, a gateway leading down to a menti. Few there would be with courage to dare enter it, and few pass the portal to dark a menti. Raised over the passage, I raised over the passage a mighty pyramid using the power that overcomes Earth's force, gravity. Deep and yet deeper, I placed a force house or a chamber, and I carved from it a circular passage reaching almost to the great summit. In the apex, I set the crystal, sending the ray into the time space, drawing the force from out of the ether, concentrating upon the gateway of Amenti. Other chambers I built and left vacant to all, Seeming yet hidden within them are the keys to Amenti. Oh, really? Remember what I talked about last week? I got to find that video again. In just a second here.
great pyramid, a strange sacred door at the top of the half in the queen's chamber. Um, I'm going to drop this in the chat room. If you get time, watch this. Watch this video. Um, I believe that what you see in that green picture there in that still video, when you watch it, that's exactly what Toth's talking about here. And if you watch that video, it will show you exactly what he just mentioned there, which is a map on, on keys of the way to enter Ament uh, Amenti. Well, that's it right there. There's videographic evidence of it. They sent a camera in in 1992, and nobody knew what the fuck it was. But that's what it was. Unbelievable stuff. It's right in front of us, and we just, we're, we're not being allowed to see it. That's how you enter Amenti. It's all built into the pyramids. They're going to they're gonna destroy these motherfuckers before it's over with. They're not going to let us have that information. I guarantee you the elite are going to destroy the Great Pyramids. They already hinted about it. Remember Transformers 2? They're not going to let us have the knowledge in there, folks. We're, we've got to get our hands on this stuff before it's too late. Other chambers I built and left vacant to all seeming yet hidden within them are the keys to a minty. That's it right there. He who in courage would dare the dark realms, let him be purified first by long fasting. Lie in the sarcophagus of stone in my chamber. Then I will reveal to him the great mysteries. Soon he shall follow me to where I shall meet him. Even in the darkness of earth, I shall meet him. I, Toth, Lord of Wisdom, meet him and hold him and dwell with him always. Builded I the Great Pyramid, patterned after the pyramid of Earth's force, burning eternally so that it too might remain through the ages. In it, I builded my knowledge of magic science, so that I might be here when again I return from Amenti. Yes, while I sleep in the halls of Amenti, my soul will incarnate roaming free and will dwell among me in men in this form or another. Hermes thrice born. Emissary on earth, I am of the dweller. Fulfilling his commands, so many might be lifted. Now I return to the halls of Amenti, leaving behind me some of my wisdom. Preserve ye and keep ye the command of the dweller. Lift ever upwards your eyes toward the light. Surely in time ye are one with a master. Surely by right ye are one with a master. Surely by right yet are one with the all. Now I depart from you. Know my commandments. Keep them and be them, and I will be with you, helping and guiding you into the light. Now before me opens the portal. I go down into the darkness of night. So that's the end of tablet one there.